Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Uh, this time it's going to be a bit different than usual because I always get, keep getting so many questions from you guys and I thought it would be just easiest to make one big Q&A video where I basically take off the most frequent asked questions by you guys. I did that with an Instagram story and you could ask me your questions there and my lovely assistant today, Celine, she's going to read all of your <laughs> questions to me and I'm going to try to answer them. And we're not going to make it any boring. I'm not going to be sitting in there, basically go for a drive to GAE and yeah, just clean it later. I don't know, just a typical day with Schäfchen, but you are with me today and I'm going to keep answering your questions. So yeah, first question. Okay, first question. Why do you call yourself Schäfchen? So I call myself Schäfchen because I got called like that in school because of my curly hair. That was like, like maybe 15 <laughs> years ago. People always called me Schäfchen. Kind of feels like sheep wool and Schäfchen means little sheep in English. So that's, yeah. I made my Instagram account when I was 17 years old. So that's also nearly 10 years ago. And I didn't think of anything better than Schäfchen. And it has stuck with me ever since. So yeah, now I'm Schäfchen for you guys. Okay. okay, second question. Any new cars incoming? Uh, any new cars incoming? Honestly, that's a really good question and one question that which you guys always keep asking me. I'm not really looking for any cars in particular. There are some cars in my head that I would like to own someday, but it's really hard to find good examples of those. For example, like an E60 M5 or an old Porsche or an old Mustang, something like that. But yeah, I'm always kind of looking and if I ever would come across one of those, maybe someday but also there's one big problem which is i don't really have any space in my garage i mean i have right now but normally when all my cars are running which is very rare i wouldn't really have any space so yeah zeig mal bitte die schleifspuren der viper im radkasten und unterboden so in english that basically means he wants to see all the scrape marks of the viper from the notch left eh? honestly you can't really see it it's not that bad the good thing about the viper is the parts are meant to be changed it's meant to scrape and it's also meant to be changed so for example, this part here, you only have two screws and you can order this part from Dodge. And it's really easy to change, it's really easy to fix. The whole underside of the car is, it didn't scrape, it's only this in the front. And you have the diffuser in the rear, which is also meant to be changed. So that's also not a big problem here. And it's scraped a little bit on the inside of the hood, but that's also not too bad here. But it's really, really minimal, so yeah. It's honestly not that bad. It sounded way worse in video. It's not too bad. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for a drive. And with that, I think it's good to start the next question. Your favorite car of your collection? Uh, my favorite car of my collection, that's also a really tricky question because it always kind of changes and it really depends on the weather and everything and my, on my mood. First off, my collection is the G80 M3, the E90 M3, MK4 Supra, the R34 GTR, R35 GTR, my Viper, the GT3 RS, my Evo 5 RS, my Raptor. And yeah, out of all these cars right now, my favorite would probably be... I would really love to drive the R34 GTR again, so I can't wait for that. But other than that, I think the G80 M3 right now is really nice because it's just so nice to drive. And if you want, you can also slide it and be really rowdy with it. So it's a good combination. Yeah, honestly, I can't really pick a favorite. I love them all. Otherwise, I wouldn't have them. It really always depends on my mood, honestly. Okay, your absolute dream car. My absolute dream car. That's also a very frequent question. That's really hard to answer. My absolute dream car always was the R34 GDR. And then I bought it. And it's honestly still a dream car to have. Especially, I would really love to have a working R34 GDR. That's my absolute dream car right now. A working R34 GDR, I think. Let's okay. see how it is when the car is running, but I think it will stay the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Planning on coming to Norway anytime? Norway? I always planned to go there, honestly. I wanted to go there in winter, especially Lofoten. I think it's called Lofoten, it's like those islands. It looks really beautiful. Uh, I would love to see that one day in person, but I also think it would be kind of cool to do like a road trip there in summer. But the problem with my road trips is I always try to convince my friends to come with me <laughs> and it's really hard to convince them to go to Norway in summer, so <laughs> yeah. But I would love to do, do that one day, yeah. Also, I kind of want to say this right now, uh, I can't show you the G80 in its full final form yet. I have an, a different exhaust in my car right now, that which you haven't heard, which we mounted a few weeks ago, but I'm kind of waiting for the wheels to arrive as well, so then I can make like a one big video. And until then, I don't really want to show you because the car sounds amazing right now. I'm driving with the valves closed, 
while it's open is crazy, let me tell you. It spits flames and everything, it's honestly insane. I can give you a little sneak peek if you want. Mm. Keep it that way for this video, and then sometimes in the future you'll hear the full potential of G80, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nori tells you to come to Japan. Actually, we even planned going to Japan this year with Nico and with Nico's brother, but it kind of all like vanished into thin air because uh, the reason why we wanted to go there, Nico's brother wanted to buy a car there, and I wanted to join them. Uh, but maybe we still want to do that next year, so maybe next year we could try to go to Japan and I would honestly love to bring one of my own cars there. That's a logistical nightmare to be honest, but it would be very cool. So maybe sometime in the future, yeah. QB Simon asked you, what's your first sport car? What was my first sports car? The normal question is what was your first car? And uh, my first car was a BMW X1, which is a very, norm like a very normal and basic car, because back then I was more focused on motorcycles and other cars. My first real sports car was, I think it was the R8 basically. I had an R6 before that, but I wouldn't really call it a sports car. So my first real sports car was an R8, which was honestly a bit boring after time. So that's why I don't have it anymore. Did you ever plan to go in Balkan places like Bosnia or Her Herzegovina? Oh, Balkan <laughs> places. I would love to go there sometime. Uh, I would especially love to go on the trans Gazan road. I, I hope I pronounced it correctly. But you know that famous Top Gear Road with all the corners? I don't know if it's in Balkan, honestly, but that's what I'm thinking right now it is. So if it's not in Balkan, I'm sorry. If it is in Balkan, <laughs> I would love to go there sometime soon. Maybe not this year, but we'll see. Very good question. What's going to happen with your E90? Yeah, as you already saw by a few weeks ago, my engine blew up an E90. <laughs> As of right now, I still don't really know what went wrong with it because the engine is still inside the car and Mani has so much to do, so he, he didn't have time to take it out, so yeah. Um, of course the car will be running again as soon as possible. If the engine is really broken, I'm definitely going to stick to the V8 and I'm gonna put another V8 in it. Maybe even with... Uh, maybe even a Stroker V8. There are some pretty nice Stroker kits for the E90 M3, so maybe that with the supercharger. Many people always told me to go with the V10, and I thought about that as well in the beginning, but honestly, I don't really think it makes sense because the V8 is just so perfect in these cars, and I don't really want to ruin that that uh, combination by putting a V10 in it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to stick to the roots and... Okay. Yeah. Second question from Tom. What's coming next for 458? Oh, what's coming instead of the Speciale? Yeah. Instead of the 458 Speciale. Yeah, I thought about that many times. I sold this Speciale, by the way, if you didn't know. Finally, I have to say, I tried to sell it for like one and a half years. Um, it's really hard because I'm not that into supercars right now. I would love to have a manual Galado one point in my life, even maybe turbocharged, but that's really hard to find. Other than that, I don't really know of any supercars that I would really love to have. So it's kind of hard to me to answer that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chef I ask you. We need some answers about Helmut. That's actually a good question. Give me one second. Here's Helmut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, uh, we bought Helmut when we were in Sweden last year and we flipped it and then I drove it back home. <laughs> was like a fun car but there was like one problem Helmut has been sitting in this tent for a very long time <laughs> and since I flipped it and I took it to the car wash water got inside the car and I think we all know what happened afterwards yeah Schimmel started to form inside Helmut I tried cleaning it as best as possible but you still see some of it here uh, I honestly don't know what to do with this car I don't want to drive it right now because it smells really bad inside no. and I think it might even be a biohazard driving it but it's still alive and maybe i can try to get it sorted somehow and then once all this is gone we can drive helmut again and take it on some adventures but yeah helmut is still here 
It's actually still running. I actually even put 5,000 euros of work into Helmut so that it's running again perfectly. So the car theoretically is a really good car, minus the interior. The interior is pretty bad, but other than that, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts about buying the new Porsche GT3 RS? Like everybody, I would honestly love to have one. It's just really hard to get it. Uh, I don't really want to pay like 100,000 over sticker just for a GT3 RS. Um, I really like the old one, which I have. I don't really drive it that much, but okay. if somebody sells one, let me know. I would really love to make some videos with it and to drift it around and stuff. <laughs> I think somebody needs to do that, so yeah, I'm your guy. I'm the guy <laughs> who can drift the GT3 RS, so yeah. <laughs> Next question, the best looking car in your opinion? I really like the design of those old 68, 69 Mustangs. I think they look kind of like the typical car which you always used to draw at school like this. You get what I'm, <laughs> I think you get what I'm saying. But I also really like those old Porsches, like 9, 9, 964 Porsches. I think those are the best looking cars, honestly. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This is my most favorite question. Zwieberoschbrade mit Ofenkartoffel oder Spätzle? That's a good question. Yeah, very good question. Good question. Spätzle? Spätzle? Okay, very good question. Do you also play games like on PC or PS4? Uh, yeah, I like most boys, obviously <laughs> I play computer games. I play on the PS5 though. I play most of the time uh, Warzone, the new Warzone with my homies, with Mani <laughs> and Fuzzi, you know them. Uh, we used to play a lot back when COVID and all the pandemic was going on and we still play from time to time. So yeah, some of you people always text me on Instagram when I kill them because my username is also shaped in there so they sometimes ask me are you playing Warzone and did you just shoot me or whatever <laughs> Next question Bist du beim Motortag am 30.04. wenn ja, mit welchem Auto? Uh, Motortag is like a car rent here and yes I am there uh, I still don't really know what car I'm bringing I think I might bring the Supra and the R35 GTR so yeah I guess I see you guys there <laughs> When will Twitch streams come back? Oh, Twitch streams. Yeah, I loved doing that last winter, honestly. That was a lot of fun. I kind of really didn't have the time to do that in the last couple of weeks, honestly. But maybe we'll find some time to do that soon again in the future. <laughs> if you guys like it, also my valve's open right there, so you have another sneak peek of what the car sounds like. <laughs> Thoughts on building a project car on the channel? Uh, I have some ideas. I think we're gonna do that uh, in winter, maybe. Uh, the plan would be to do something... I have pretty cool ideas for project car, honestly, but... I don't really... I don't really know what you guys want to see, so I think we're gonna do like a little community project. So you guys can help me find an, a car which would suit the channel really good, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a community project with you guys, together. Okay, <laughs> what's your goal for the future? Uh, I would honestly love to just continue doing what I'm doing. I mean, I've been doing that before YouTube as well, to just drive around with my cars and create as many memories as possible. Make some cool videos for you guys, honestly. I, I, you guys seem to enjoy it. I also really like doing those videos. So, yeah, maybe grow a little bit more do even cooler road trips because I've been enjoying the last ones really a lot and yeah uh, do you want to travel somewhere soon yeah I have quite a few road trips planned uh, next one is gonna be actually in two weeks already so that's gonna be pretty cool I guess and I want to go to America this year again uh, even ship one of my own cars there I think so that's gonna be pretty cool as well and apart from that We'll see what what the future brings. I mean, I'm very spontaneous, so some of my friends text me, hey, come here, come to this country, it's really beautiful. Uh, I'm open for everything, so. <laughs> also, if you guys tell me there's a cool event or something in the future somewhere, just let me know, maybe we can do something. Are you into bikes as well, or just cars? Um, as some of you guys might know, I used to ride bikes before I got into cars, so that's what started everything. Uh, I used to ride Supermoto and Enduro, and yeah, I'm still into it. I'm just not doing it myself anymore because I don't want to end up hurting myself. I had a big accident like 2016. I broke my femur and some of my ribs while riding in my supermoto in Italy. And yeah, that was 
I'm still riding enduro though. I ha still have my electric KTM free ride. So I sometimes take out that to go and drive around in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to leave because there's uh, a whole inter Italian family out there and it's really embarrassing talking English with them around. <laughs> okay, next question. What about a pre runner? Oh, the pre runner. Yeah, it's still in Los Angeles. It's still at the previous owner. I mean, I'm still trying to sell it. But it's just a bit difficult to sell a car when you're not even in the same country as the car so yeah it's in Los Angeles uh, maybe if I go back out there and I still have it there will be more videos there's actually no chance that I can get it into Europe and make it somehow street legal so I know there's ways to get the car um, registered in Great Britain and stuff where it's not that strict like in Austria but there's different reasons why I can't do that so <laughs> I thought of every way possible, trust me. There's just no way it's gonna work out. What do you study at university? Yeah, I, uh, I studied law and I successfully graduated a few weeks ago. So I'm practically now kind of a lawyer, you can say. <laughs> so, yeah. What are you fighting for? My mission with my videos is just to show the people that there's more to a car than just a means of transport. Um, I like to experience many adventures in my cars and I think that's what I'm trying to show the people that they can do more with the car than just to drive it from point A to point B and wash it sometimes and take it to car shows. Uh, I want to show them that, yeah, take your car out, go to a different country, go and live with it. I don't know, just create memories with it. In a few years, you you can look at your car and you can say, ah, I've been to this in this country, I've done that, I've done so many crazy things with it, and yeah. That's what I want to show the people and that's what my plan for myself is as well. I, I hope it kind of makes sense for you. <laughs> it makes sense in my head, but I don't know if I could get it out properly. Uh, in a short, short sentence maybe, just go and live with your car and go and create memories and take your car with you and go and have fun. I don't know. <laughs> Black Dick <laughs> asked, yes. we need more merch. <laughs> Do you have some news? We kind of slept a little bit, so that's why there is a shot of such a long period where I don't have any new merch. Uh, there's new merch coming out in June. I already have some pictures what it looks like. I can give you a little sneak peek if you want. Okay. Small sneak peek for some oh, wow. the new collection. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna be in Wörthersee? Wörthersee this year, honestly, I don't really know. I'm not a big fan of it right now anymore. The main issue is just all the police down there, honestly. And I think that there's better beats than this. So I think we're gonna be in Italy at the time, um, XS, in middle of May. And then maybe later this year, but the after meet will come, but not for the main event uh, in spring. Yeah, it's just too much police and it's just all not what it used to be anymore, sadly. So, no better say spring 2023 for sheep men. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful here. It was a good idea to go out for this little adventure today, and I really enjoy answering your questions. Okay, question from me. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> Do you like Austria or USA more? Nature-wise, like I already said, it's really beautiful here. I just feel the vibes in America a bit more than here, honestly. Uh, the people are way more chill and it's way easier to find like-minded people in, in America than it is in Austria. Like, I don't really know many people doing what I'm doing in Austria. I don't know many car people here. But in America, you just drive around and you see like 20 of them crossing you, so yeah. Okay, but it's a bit more chilled over there than here. And that's also the nature in America is beautiful as well. When we drove through the Yellowstone last year, it was so amazing. Okay, point to USA. Point to USA, honestly. <laughs> the most important question what do you do for a living? Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I get this question a lot, although I must say I've answered it many many times already and it's no secret but obviously my family helps me afford all these cars and to maintain them and yeah apart from that I'm already gaining some money off YouTube although it's not much it's merely enough to maybe 
buy me some new tires or <laughs> maybe try to fix some of the cars at least. Yeah, also through the merch, it helps me a lot if you guys uh, support me by buying my stuff because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, come up with all the costs of repairing my cars through all the merch and stuff. So all my merch fundings go straight back into my cars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I finance uh, all the repair costs and stuff. But yeah, the rest, all the cars, obviously, uh, my parents helped me buy them, which I'm very grateful for, don't get me wrong. And I also don't think it's something bad if you get sponsored by your parents or like if they help you buy some stuff because, I mean, everybody would probably do the same in my situation and also in my parents' situation. If you were a parent and you had a child, wouldn't you want the best thing possible for your child? So wouldn't you try to support them as much as possible? So, yeah, I don't really get why some people think it's bad. My eyes it's a very beautiful thing and yeah. Yeah, I'm grateful for it so. <laughs> yeah so let's uh, go and clean my car really quick we're nearly done with our little journey here <laughs> why don't you buy high quality cars instead of ship boxes because I love ship boxes it wouldn't be as fun as it is with high quality cars that don't break down I just prefer driving ship boxes that give me emotions <laughs> most high quality cars are pretty boring and that's the problem with new cars, especially. That's why I drive shit boxes. <laughs> Who or what got you into cars? Uh, I think it was my grandfather. My my parents themselves, they're not really into cars. But my grandfather, he always loved cars. And I think that's what also got me into cars. Last question. How do you keep track of all your projects? Is it a team or do you organize yourself? Uh, it's all of myself and that's the problem. That's why all of them are broken most of the time Like most of my friends who have more cars They mostly have one person that they hire to take care of their cars and I don't really have that so I I myself had to do it and That's really uh, It's not as easy as it seems Because that's just I have nine cars right now Actually ten if you count the free runner and that's always something to do with every car so basically I would be working on my cars like 24 7 or like thinking of stuff to do so yeah so we're finally back in my garage time to dry off the m3 and maybe time for the last questions yep. this time from selena i guess <laughs> oh it's my turn okay last question last question yeah what was the best adventure you ever had i mean the finland and sweden trips were pretty cool last year but i I think my favorite was the pre-run in America, honestly. That was just so different to everything else I've ever experienced. And I definitely plan on doing something similar again in the future. Uh, also, I think the pre-runner didn't really get the re recognition it deserved because that was... <laughs> Pre-runners are such cool cars. Yeah. So yeah, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the different kind of episode this time. <laughs> um, yeah, if you liked it, maybe we can do this more often. If not, we see each other in the next video. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>